What's up you guys, it's Ness. Today I want to talk to you guys about a new camera that I bought. And this camera is probably like the most inspiring camera that I ever purchased. The camera of course that I'm talking about is the Fuji X100V. Now there's a lot that I have to say about this camera, pretty much all good things. This camera single-handedly has made me put down my camera bag, which is a lot. Cause I'm so used to carrying stuff like this, like the A7R4 with 7200 or the 2470, the 85. You know what I'm saying? All these lenses, all these, especially the G Master lenses, they're really heavy, they're really big. I saw a couple people use it, I watched a couple reviews, and then I just, you know what I'm saying? I just bought it and tested it out for myself. And this camera has inspired me to do so much. This camera has inspired me to get into film. This camera has inspired me to, you know, just want to take different kinds of shots and just see things differently. So I am like so excited about this camera. What I love about this camera so much too is that you can customize it to your own style, feel, and just vibe. On top, I added a soft release. On the back of the camera, I've added a thumb grip, and that also doubles as a guard for your ISO. It's just dope, it just looks good. I also added this lens hood on the front. So another little feature that I love about the camera is that it comes with all these built-in presets, uh, like cinematic or filmic presets, and it just allows you to fine tune your pictures to get just get them a certain way before you go ahead and export them. But it's just really cool because it helps you find your vibe and helps you find what you need uh, before you take your shots. And I just love how fast and quick it is because you just have to turn the wheel and it'll just show you all the different effects. Another feature that I really loved about this camera and that made it a game changer for me was just the fact that you're able to just send over your JPEGs with the click of a button. Now that's really beneficial because if you're trying to just take a couple quick shots and you want to send them to your phone, uh, for, your, for your Instagram or your feed or just, you know, just content. This camera is great for that. But this is a daytime camera. Don't think that you're gonna buy this camera and be shooting in the lowest light of light situations. Film has a certain vibe. So just expect to get that vibe with this camera and don't try to be like super technical with your shots. Just enjoy the camera and just shoot as you should. So don't buy this camera thinking that you're gonna be shooting like the A7S III, like in the lowest of light situations. That's probably the only thing that I didn't like, you know what I'm saying? But uh. Other than that, I've been really loving the camera. So I took a little trip with this camera just to get away for a little bit. And I also wanted to see what it can do. And though I had my camera bag on me with all my other Sony equipment, I opted to just use this Fuji for the whole trip. So all the pictures and video that you're gonna see in this video are from the Fuji going forward. So um, I'm just gonna do a little bit of voiceover, but yeah, let me show you guys these pictures. The Fuji X100V has like single-handedly done so much that I've been trying to find in so many other bodies. I would highly recommend this camera if you're just starting. There's certain things that you're gonna have to get used to with this camera. Uh, if you've never shot Fuji before, I don't know if it's just this camera, but I've never used this type of body or system before. So I'm just, this is my introduction into film, but uh, you'll have to get used to like knowing where the ISO is, the shutter speed, and uh, just, you know, even the, the sound that the camera makes when you take a shot. I'm used to that actual like shutter of like my a7r4 this is a heavy ass camera i was also taken back by the video and the quality the only bad part is that this doesn't have ibis so since this doesn't have in-body stabilization you're gonna have to use like a tripod or a gimbal or something just to get the shot smooth but if you're just like getting like short little clips for like your ig story or whatever like this is perfectly fine for it another thing is that this is a fixed lens so what that does for me is just it forces me to be a photographer and just move around and get the shot. You have to work for your shot. So every shot that you see taken with this, I work for the shot. And it makes you enjoy the camera more, in my opinion, sometimes. So, you know, uh, this has been a precursor into other things because I've also just pulling back uh, myself in life in terms of like just having so much, and just trying to dumb down my kit and just simplify things. So the Fuji X100V, not only did it inspire me to shoot a whole nother style of photography that I never even knew I was into, but it also helped me in the way of being minimalistic. It helped me be more minimalistic. Yeah, that's why I love this camera. And I would highly recommend it to anybody that's trying to get into something different and just wants a camera that, you know, they can get some cool shots with and just document certain things. Like when I go travel, this is my, this is now, this has become my travel camera. This is without a doubt, one of the cameras that's definitely on my person. This camera came out a while ago, but I just caught wind of it and I just instantly like went and purchased it. But anytime I meet somebody that shoots with this camera, 
they're always excited. They're always like, you know, an enthusiast of something. Nah, but you should definitely go pick one of these up if you're looking for something new. Uh, and this, that's coming from a Sony user. You know what I'm saying? I never thought I would shoot with Fuji. But that's about it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I inspired you to, to do something with this camera just like I was inspired when I saw it. I'm going to be doing a lot more videos like this of some of the equipment I purchased. So, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to be part of the notification squad. That's about it. You know what I'm saying? That's out.